Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. As you can see behind me, I was back to the Twilight Forest to collect my um, Hydra head and also managed to get another Knight's head, uh, Knight Phantom head or trophy. And what actually, I got quite a lot of hearts from that one because one of them was a blight but didn't make too much difference. And I don't have enough XP for the rest of those. Let's just go and get some more XP. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? It didn't used to use XP to do these, but now they do, so let's do that. So today, actually, what I'd like to do is some astral sorceries, more astral sorcery stuff, because I figured a few bits out between um, episodes, and I did some preparation too, so I'll do it, I think. So now we've got 36, 360 hearts, haven't we? I think that's 360. So astral sorcery, yeah. What I figured out is that the prism lens doesn't seem to be working. So I've actually I created the new uh, uh, altar. So went back. Let's go back to the starlight altar, which is this one here. And what I did here is that this is we need to basically link this collector crystal. Oh, it did work. Oh, it just took a very long time. This one is actually linked to here. So I'd linked up a prism a lens to this one using the linking tool so basically you know the linking tool let's just get it out i think it's in four yeah so you, you right click this and then you can shift right click that should say unlink lens from lock so you don't get a light in there you can do the same for this one as well so i can uh, right click that one and shift right click this one it should unlink it unlinked Hold on a second, I think I moved, messed that one around. I have to stop linking it first of all by moving off and then right click that and shift right click that. So it's unlink the prism lens from the block. So they just take a long time. Anyway, so let's might as well collect this stuff. Might we? So I guess that we can use this one. Yep, and we might even complete a, qu a quest doing that actually. I'm not 100% sure. So to link stuff around, oh, this one did work as well. It just takes a long time. It's as simple as that. So basically, <laughs> I was trying all these things and it didn't. It wasn't giving the particle effect. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe maybe you have to wait till night time to get the particle effect. Let's break that one out and do the iron ore as well, for that matter. So everything's going into my um, handy bag at the moment because I've got pick up all mode set in here. Let's go and put this down somewhere else. So if I, for example, link this, this one's linked to that. Okay, let's unlink that from there. So let's put this down here. And I want to unlink this. So I want to right click this and shift right click this. And so it's unlinked from there. And then the light disappears. So if I now right click this and then right click, click or right click this, then it just simply links it to the block. And we get the particle effect. So that I, haven't, I wasn't seeing before for whatever reason. Maybe it's the wrong time of day. Probably only works at night. So, so it's like a bit of activity going on outside. But I must admit, with the strength of with the strength two boost, you you do grind the mobs a lot faster. And I was making some of these crystals too. So these are the celestial crystals and they're not ready to harvest until they're actually doing this sort of particle effect that took me quite a long time to work out so this this co this pickaxe here is emerald so that should be as good as diamond I'll tell you what we'll do we'll make sure we'll get the cobalt pick pickaxe out which is this one so i should now have a crystal that you've got here celestial crystal so that's working just fine so i've got two in there let's do go and harvest this one and you get back your um, star, Stardust as well, so let's have a look at this one, Purity is 85, so this is a very good one actually, reasonably good, and this one was 97, so that's a, it's a very large one, and it's also quite good. So what we can then do with that one is we can then put this one into here, so let's just do that. I oh, know, I've got to turn my magnet off of course, let's move it out of the way, it's still picking it up, tell you what. 
just let's just press Q on it and get it out of the way. So that'll then improve. So it should get bigger. So I can't remember what the stats were on it, but it was 500 and something. So now, in this one here, we could also, you'll see here, this has got one line and the rest of it's smooth. And you can see it's also going down here like this. So that basically means it's got one bucket of starlight too few. So we take our bucket out, if we had taken bucket on the starlight, right click this one, put it onto there. Now if it's got two lines on it, then it means the middle one's the one you need to do. And that's actually quite hard to see. You can, I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out which one was not, why it was not working for some gems I was doing. So, so I've got some gem, uh, aquamarine here. So you can right click that on there like that. And then you take your, your resonating wand, right click this on there oops wrong try again and you get the particle effect like this so with a bit of luck and it doesn't matter bing so it's not it's now done and none of these i can do another one because none of them have lost So what I'm hoping to show you is it actually what happens when one of them just when it uses a bucket up. But for that matter, I'm going to get the bucket out. I think that one's okay too because the particle effect stays on afterwards. If the particle effect goes away straight away, that's wrong one. Try again. What I'm really doing here? If the particle effect goes off when the gem's ready, then you know it's run out. Ah no, this one is gone, you see? So this has got the line here, so it's the opposite end of the line. So that's how that works. So that was one thing I did discover. Oh, and this is already finished, let's pick it up. Let's have a look at the size of this now, that should be this one here. No, not that one. Which one did I just picked up? Because that was 53, it was 84 before. So that's now 627 in size which has grown a significant amount we can do it again might as well actually because to make these things we'll do that as well so bucket bucket in here get the gems out this one let's put this into here cute now to make these things is dead easy too well it took me a while to figure out exactly how to do it and what was and what the problem was so I'll put a bucket in here in fact, I'm going to get a second bucket for this one, like that. So you need a rock crystal. So here's a rock crystal. Size is 400 and purity is 90, so it's a very good rock crystal. Uh, let's pick, what's this one got? 93. Have I got any more rock crystals around? I'd prefer not to use those, to be honest with you. But I've got some, I've got some rock crystal ore here, which we make with the rock crystal essence. Let's put that down. Break it with a lucky pickaxe. Always good to break it with a lucky pickaxe. We'll get these in here. So that one's a, ro a fairly rotten one. Good, that'll do. So what we do is we put one of these into here like this. Uh, we need some starlight dust, which I've got here. So let's just remove the bucket out of the way and put the starlight dust down here. And you put the starlight dust in. It doesn't really matter, I think. But they say you should put it in first. And then you get this purpley effect as opposed to the blue effect in here and if you just put a rock crystal in so if we've got a decent rock crystal here I think that 93 ones here we could put that one into this one here and you should get a what I think and that didn't go in for whatever reason <laughs> let's just try it from here oh too far that time <laughs> It's sometimes tricky to get these things into. Is that I reckon still the 93 one? Yep. Purity is the important thing. It's the one you can't actually upgrade as far as I can. I found out that one. So that gives you a white effect. So this one's now finished. And you get this little cluster. If you break that little cluster now, you just get back your, your, your um, you just get back the stardust. What have we got on this one now? Not that one, it must be this one, wasn't it? So it's 694. But there's also a chance, I believe, 
of these things splitting up. So let's go and get this one. Another bucket's worth in here. Because I'm not going to leave that one to do its business when it, while we're doing this anyway. So we can take this out of here. So 694, 85%. And over time these crystals will grow so that I figured out and the next thing we can do it's coming up today which is a shame because I wanted to go and have a look at some um, stars what have I got my night helmet I've got night vision on this helmet night vision is great but when you're doing astral sorcery it's not so great now I should have in here a non night vision helmet. I made a second helmet. This one's just got um, the difference between this has got uh, that's got night vision and this has got uh, respiration three. So we don't get the night vision of, of effects on this one. And to make that stardust, by the way, if you take a, an ingot, let's get the ingots out of here. Got 22 of those. And I make the, I'm making the inglets with with their essence as well. So let's have a look. Actually, I think I've got some essence. No, I haven't. Let me get the essence out. So if we get eight of these, I think it's eight. I'll just click that eight times. So we've got a stardust. We've got um, rock. Try that again. Essence, and we've got um, what's the other one? Aquamarine. These are all seeds you can make. So let's take these out of here, and then have a look at the uses of those. There we go. The seeds are just everything like. It's all the same the seeds, there's nothing special about that. So you press U on that and you get uses and you can get you get six for the price of five. On this one. You get one crystal for eight. Well that's you get more than that when you've actually done this. And the uses of this one, you get three ingots for eight. Like that. So I can put those happily back into here and so if they don't go, if well, you put something in here and it doesn't disappear, then you got a blockage. I think that was the only one I needed to get rid of. I thought, no, Essence Aquamarine. Shift click that into there as well. That'll disappear and go out. So now we've got these two rock, these two crystals. Let's have a look at the size of this one now. So that's 822. So it's gone up. And this one here, it was a 93. It's gone up to 359. So they've gone basically better what you can do with this of course if you, you want to improve the sharpness dead easy just come along here put it on here and then can I do that right one no, I haven't got it on there have I right click it on should can I not sharpen this crystal I thought I could <laughs> I haven't tried it to be honest with you so obviously you can't Unless there's something already on here. Shift. No, there's nothing right. Nothing on there. I'm sure you just ground it and you improve the sharpness. But maybe that's not working anymore. Or the cutting. Let's try this one. Nope, I can't place it on anymore. Okay. So that's that, and you'll see that these have probably a little bit bigger now anyway let's go and have a look at the other astral sorcery the celestial altar i put down a mega torch because i extended the, the platform and built this thing this is a uh, oh do i'm in the clouds can't see so this is basically city marble here and it's a 15 by 15. and the way i was trying to figure out this how how do you know 15 by 15. i was actually counting odd numbers so that's like one three five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen <laughs> and then you've got the blocks around it and underneath this one as you may already know this has to be an empty space now 
Bob the Big Bat told me I could do another trick as well. That's where has that one gone to? I think it's this one. Let's get this out of here and also get my eye a chisel. Let's put oh, it's just already straight. It's wrong one, isn't it? What did I pick up? I think it's marble arch. So this one here says astral sorcery is marble. Ruined marble. So I'll have to just put this one back in here so it actually validates the uh, um this. You see it's got all of the things have disappeared off here. This is all to do with attunement, because this is attunement also. And I wasn't sure whether that actually, this thing was actually working. Sorry, let me get rid of that. <laughs> now you see it's starting to do its its lights. And what you have to do for that is you have to go and build a telescope. This is all fairly straightforward. There's nothing complicated about it. And it's daytime, you can't see anything. That's why everything's done at night. <laughs> and as you may know, I had already discovered, a few, I think I've discovered the five main ones here. And you'll notice on this one, here's Decidia. And it's got a little red mark just here. That means I've actually discovered it. Same as here for Evorcio. I've discovered that. And these ones I haven't. And what I do is I actually take these things and I go and... Actually, let's take it out of that. Put this into your hand like this. And write it down. So I actually write all this down. In fact, I can see it in the book just as easily. Just come to the book here. All right, click the book, go to constellations. So that was, was that, no, it wasn't this one, was it? Let me see. I think it was Avitas, wasn't it? Yes, and you've got no information because I've not discovered it yet. If I go back out of there and look at the city here, for example, then it gives you information. And you've got multiple pages on this one. Um, and I think those are all part of the quest as well, so we'll have to wait a bit for that to become night time. And I brought my chest here with lots of different papers in here, which basically nothing in here until we actually find, have attuned ourselves. So we have to attune ourselves, which is a bit, a bit complicated. Well, and what we have to do to attune ourselves is we have to take this paper and this one's not, I've not discovered this one but I think um, one of the favourite ones the one I have actually have discovered and that's Decidia so if we put this here and then we go here and we put this into our hand into our off hand and we come over here but I might have to be at night time to do this we should see markers but they're not there yet so that's not night time so I have to wait for night time and what we have to do on these is we have to put spectral relays and I think I've got 14 spectral relays and the recipe for these is fairly straightforward. It's just one glass lens, gold nuggets, planks, and a marble pillar. So I was going to do the the marble next, wasn't I? So let's put those out of the way and get this in here. So I'll we'll move this into here, won't I? So when I right click this, you can take your you can take your chisel here. And when you look at these here, these say that this is actually astral sorcery. So I can click it and then I get, I want just ordinary chisel. So those are now ruined marble. But of course it's a bit easier than that. There's another astral sorcery one, which ones we, we use quite often as marble arch pillars, blocks, just straightforward marble. And then the rest of these are chisel, chisel items. So if I want to go back again, just chisel it and it's back. So that's actually probably a good way to save space as well. In your inventory, you don't have to have all of these things in here. I can't do those. I've got the chisel still in my hand, haven't I? It takes damage. I can repair that. Just stick it in the machine and it repairs it just like that. No problem at all. So we've got 63 of those. 10 resonating gems and the celestial crystals. So if it's raining, it also doesn't work. What I should do is bring a clock here because the clock up here is rubbish. See, it's still grey. Well, let's go back to base because it's a world base. While that's doing all of that, we can do this one. I prepared the stuff for the botanical miner here. So, I think. Have I got it with me? I also found my second magic map as well. It was in the chest. I don't know why I couldn't see it before, but I couldn't. 
in fact I think it's prepared and it's in this chest in this one here yes it is look I'm just going to have to get rid of the stuff that I've got from my astral sorcery and put that back into the places I hopefully I can do it in here we have enough space relays well that's full I can sort that oh, I've got two different types of star map metal why is that then interesting oh yeah <laughs> so I have completed the quest I thought I had so what we do with these is we just put these in the furnace I think uses of that one we'd put it into a furnace I think you just get one for one in well you can grind it in the pulverizer and give us two stardust that's probably a good thing to do let's do that then but don't ask me what the difference here is but I did try to upgrade my I'm still on 11 12 actually well let's see it's dot, dot 11 with them um, dot 12 mods in it I can't upgrade I can't actually use my save on the dot 13 and I did the mods but I also discovered a bug in the mods which yeah uh, didn't impress me too much and that was when you're looking at things like this let's get it out of yes yeah, then that's a compactor here you see the astral sorcery the second line down item crafting component for starlight dust for stardust and that had come to high well just basically was hieroglyphics it wasn't any text it was for so somebody had actually been printing out the pointer not the contents of the pointer which is uh, really bad <laughs> i wouldn't trust it and i moved these tables around a bit as well so what did i want did i pick up that stuff in there no i haven't let's just sort this i've updated my sorting rules a bit so let's take these out of here I think that's all I need. I've got I've got the builder with me. Oh, it's night time, but it's still raining. It's not going to help me very much. So I should be able to click this with the assembler tool. Shift right click it, and it should break away. Oops, what is that? Ah, yes, of course, because I've, <laughs> I've got this in my hand. Try that again. See, so I can't shift right click it. So I just break it. I'm breaking the buckle, put it on it just not important that should go into yes that goes into here I'm going to make a place for that so while I'm, before we can do that let's just it stop raining that so if we can go and discover another um, know, it's still raining let's go and look at the telescope you look at the telescope when it's raining oh actually it's working last time I looked at it I couldn't see anything what is there any stars in the, are there any there no right any there I don't look like there are any in this one either. So it doesn't look like there's anything in the sky. They're fairly obvious when you see one. Ah, here's one. So what I do here is I count the number of stars we've got. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the seven stars. So and it looks to me like it's Amara. I just I've got it. I think this is Amara. So I wrote them down on a piece of paper. So, but, so basically it goes like this. I don't know how accurate you have to be with your drawing. And then that should go, or maybe it's not. No, I think it is. that goes up to this one that goes across to that one and that goes across to this one and I think there should be another one somewhere oh yeah that goes down here and that goes down here and I haven't got it right obviously not unless I'm not sure I have to be more accurate or not that's the trouble But it does look like Amara. Because when you get it right, it goes blue. Oh, with one line missing. That one. Okay. 
that's not worked let's go off that page and come back to it do it again <laughs> so that goes from there to there and then this one goes from here to here let me go down on both sides and then this should go across to here like this and then this one from here to here and then there should be a line across this and this goes to here and it goes just slightly below that to that one and then finally up to here ah here we go so then it should tell me I have discovered a constellation called Amara so now right click the book here go to constellations and we can now see information about Amara so it's giving in a repulsive force pushing away from the light of constellation much like a shield or protective barrier so that's that so what we now can do if I'm not mistaken let's go and get that paper and put this paper in my right hand here yeah there we go now you can see the blue smoky bits here so let's get out of my left the other hand here the spectral relays we're going to put these down in these, in these places here like that I think this is the exact I've never done this, it's my first time. Building that I just thought I'd save time by building the the platform rather than do that with you. It's just a building a platform, just following the instructions really. Which one have I missed here? And one here. Now is that right? Because when they're right, they all sort of link up together. But I must be missing one or not got it in the right place. That looks correct. That looks correct. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, that's, they look okay. It might be that it's not in the sky. In which case we can go and check. Let's go back to this telescope here. <laughs> Done that before. So you have to you have to click the bottom of the telescope. So that was Amara. That's Avorio, I think that's how it's called. And I think that's the last one. So there's only two. So I can't do what I want to do until that comes back into into the into the into the night sky. And if you look at the book Kim, can we see the moon? No, we can't. <laughs> Let's have a look at the book and see what we can actually see. Constellations. So, Decidia. It's bright when it's, I think, between... Now, which way around is this? Is it a full moon? I'm not quite sure how to read this one. If we go back... It seems to be bright when it's the moon is dark, but I'm not sure if it's bright when the moon is full moon. So let's go back to constellations and have a look at the next one we've discovered here. I suspect this is bright when it's an, the opposite. Yeah, okay. So we've got either a new moon here or whatever, or a waning moon, a waxing or a waning moon. But I don't, I can't see the moon because it's waning. I suppose we can go up. Let's fly up so if we can fly above the clouds. I'm not sure how that works with Minecraft with rain. <laughs> so we go above and we see snow. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't suppose we can go past the snow, can we? What height am I at? 210. No, I don't think we're going to see the moon tonight. Okay. So that's not helping me. So when this, when it's at the right time of the, the month, so to speak, these these should light up, and then we can go and tune ourselves or tune a rock crystal to those, or even a celestial crystal we can tune. And I think we've got to do a celestial crystal first. So, and then when we're attuned, we can then go and see more constellations. So that's what it's all about. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, let's go and pick up that. Let's go and pick up that because I. They're a pain to make, <laughs> I can tell you. 
see all these I was making the lenses using the um, starlight infusion anyway so let's go back to the overworld actually no I can do it from here I'm not sure exactly where it is oh yeah look, look. here I have set up a flat area and what I'm planning to do with this flat area is to put the mach the um, environmental tech machines so what I need to do here is, is build a hole down I basically just use the miner to uh, a builder to flatten this area off and then I can put this down so let's do that so I'm going to build it up. I need them I need a miner for a builder first of all and I've got one configured I think it's this one let's put it down here nope wrong one of course let's get the other one out put this one here this is the one I think this was one that basically just goes down so turn this on skeleton not quite sure what he's doing here but there we are so on top of that we'll put a chest some strange sort of fizzy type noises and I don't know what they are <laughs> well this little fella here is going to be producing some what's he doing he's sounds definitely like he's something getting no idea put out is the word I was going to think of so anyway let's get out of here um, where is it now we need a flux plug and a chest we've got 23 chests one of those will be fine and oh it's not running and these wood casings from actual editions the recipe for this should have been sidings but it's broken now I think that the the wood sidings you see here we've got actual block miscellaneous in here and it's type ID 4 so you've got 4 so that would be the, um, the number you have to put down in the ID stuff but I don't have any sidings with me I was going to look at what sidings were so let's put this thing on to here for anyway and let's go and put a chest on top of this and not waste time and then we can configure this I need the configuration tool which will be in so yeah, I've got 512 of these as well for each one that's in order to make some more deconium or so right click that and it should right click this click start on it oh on when active let's just ignore it and start it so that's it done so we picked up a few blocks not very much some marble okay good <laughs> um let's turn that off go down and have a look we should be straight down to bedrock yeah so that's where we can set up our miners if we got here quartz or I'd set this one up to go right down much deeper than it really is but uh, it's fine so we can pick up these two builders now I want the crescent hammer so I'm going to do this one first pick that up so that then should go into this first slot here and the next one should go here so let's do that as well you see and then I need to pick up the other bits and pieces this one I can't actually right click it's to break it wherever that went to and the chest well I think we can break the chest as well so so you see the ores come into here so I've got some coal and iron ore we'll put we'll take those out of there like that and the chest also been picked up where did the chest go to what did my inventory get full oh there 
we'll put it there and the redstone's there as well I thought there was something and the other thing was m marble and the marble should be picked up somewhere not sure where that went to it should go into the ice it'll go into the dank mill so that's very complicated I mean let's try this now we need to, I'm going to put it up five blocks again so we can just see it and then we put it on the front of this that's my structure panels And then I shall simply remove this tower, construction tower, but we're excavating that away. And then we simply right click this, I'll go up again of course. We just need the assembler and right click it. Oops, I've done it again, haven't I? Do I have to am I too far away? Yes I am. Actually it's doing both at the same time, so let's just take that out of my hand here and put it into there for the time being. So let's just check what have we got left. We've got some lithorite blocks, that's fair enough. Some interconnects, I think we had extras. So that may well be working. Let's have a look. Nope. Not working. I'm missing. Oh, of course. I have not got with me the lenses. Okay, so I need the two bits we're missing. Uh, three bits, I think. Let's go back and get this. I was actually wondering where that skeleton came from because there is a mega torch there. And it works really well, the mega torch. So, what do we need? I think they'll be in here. I don't see them. Get rid of those blocks and we've got stuff that blocks. Did I not pick them out of here? That's very strange. I should have made the lenses. I'm just having a look, see if I can see them because I've probably got them somewhere. If not, I'll make another one. Hmm. Strange. So anyway. In fact, I should be able to find out what's done. So what I think I'm missing is certainly a lens. That would be nine glass and two of these core things. Yeah. of glass and so we need 10 pieces of glass let's just get 10 pieces of glass nine I think we need two of these oh yes I haven't got enough I didn't miscount it that didn't I I think I need seven of these. So I don't quite know what I did wrong there. I'm sure I made them. I'm sure I made them at the end of the last episode. It's coming up to night time. So we can see if we can finish off doing the other thing that we actually... I actually did make sure I positioned this outside the embers a bit as well. Oh yep, that is definitely working. Now this one here brings up sort of plant type stuff. Whether that's very useful to us, I'm not 100% sure. But it's one of the it's one of the quests, and I I quite like doing the quests. So I'll just take um, have I got one with me? I haven't. Let's take some of this. Have I got any wood? Yes, I've got some wood. I'm going to make another crate. I've made these before. 
I didn't cheat them in, so I just made them a lot earlier on. So let's go and press R and get my indexer remote. I sort of put that added that to also to my inventory tool, tweak stuff. Let's look at this one. The uses of that, we should be able to make a actually quite an important component, isn't it? We should be able to make a small storage crate. Also, chests are pain as well in this mod as well. I, there's quite a few things I think are going to be a bit of a nuisance. So let's get the flux point out in again. Let's put this on the top and activate it. Oh, that's interesting. I clicked it. Yeah. Oh, right. You're going to write this in. It just gives you this one. So the storage crate is now empty. And that should be getting power. How can I find out? Let's run a look at this one again. So it's doing 160 RF per tick. So it's actually not using as much power as the other machines. And here we go. We've got our first banana stalk. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to come back that to that later on. It's coming towards night time, I think. Yes, the sun's going down. Let's go and let's trundle up to our thing. And I think it's around about above my head, actually. There we go. I'll have to wait a few minutes for this to actually work. But I would quite like to attune myself. You see, it's sort of that one. So we're getting this shape now. So this looks like a new moon. Let's go and have a look at that book. Let's go and look at the constellations. And Amara. So that's not this one. Let's go back and have a look at the next one. Oops. Get this book thing. It's a bit of a pain sometimes. This is yet, I think. It might be that one. So that's the bright one. Go back to the constellations and look at this in here again. It says it's, I think it's bright when this bit's here. But I could be wrong. But anyway, it looks like it's bright. So let's go and check the telescope. We should be able to even see it in the sky if we found it. Oh, we'd up if it wasn't in a cloud, wouldn't it? I don't see any of them in the sky. Tell you what, let's go and look at the telescope and see what it tells us. Let's try again. So there's nothing there by the looks of it. Not there either. So, okay. So, Amara's still here. Oh, here we've got another one. How many stars have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this must be nine stars. In which case it's Avitas. So there should be some at the bottom here. There's one here. That should go up to here, I think. And then there's one here that goes up to this one. You see, if having drawn them on a piece of paper, it helps a lot. Indeed it is. So that goes to that one. That one goes up to that one. So we've discovered Avitas. Fantastic. So we should be able to see those two in the sky. Oh well, there's a, that must be an Avatar over th uh, Amara over there. Where's the other one then? Can I not see it because it's in a funny place? Oh, there we go. There it's right above our head. So that one's saying it's right above our head, which is probably its, it's strongest one. Let's go and have a look at this book again now. We know what the moon shape is. So we've got this. Hmm. 
Maybe it's the opposite of this. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm going to have to sort of read up about it. Because I'm sure we've got this moon, haven't we? Uh, no, we've got this moon, haven't we? So that would imply that it's not... They would really expect it to be the middle of the sky would be here, wouldn't you? But uh, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, it's there. So we can actually set that one up, but I'm not going to. I'm going to come back and do that another time. Um, we could do a we could do a crystal though. We can put a crystal in here. Ah, oh, but of course I've got to select the right paper. Let's do that as well. Oh, I need to shift right click this time to open up the stuff. So we've got this one I haven't discovered yet. Avorias. Oh, this one's green. Avitas is green. I don't know what that means. Does that mean it's in the sky at the moment? Aha! That'll be what it means. Uh, but this Decidia one's definitely not in the sky. Let me try again. So that one's grey. Maybe these are just the colours. put that in here but we haven't got enough spectral relays now I think we need nine well well maybe all right might be one short let's see if we can do it anyway that goes that There, I'll break this one, of course. What do I need to do? This pickaxe, okay. It doesn't matter about how the other one's down either. That's the there we go. So it's all working. <laughs> Whew. That's another first for me as well. So now let's just take a crystal. So we got here. 821. Let's take this one and attune this one. And I believe what you do is you simply throw it into the middle here. And it gets picked up and it gets attuned. Oh look at that. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, the particle effects are, <laughs> are special in the um, astral sorcery, aren't they? So we actually have an attuned crystal, or we'll have in a few seconds. Yep, done. Got your ping. Oops, now I'm on it, and I don't want to go on. How can I get off this? <laughs> Oops, I can't get off it. I'm s I didn't intend to do that. So I'm attuning myself now. And as you can see, I don't have my things on here. How do I get rid of this thing so I don't attune it myself to this? Mm, I don't really want to be attuned to this one. I want to be attuned to Dissidia. Not that it makes any difference, I suppose. I know you can cancel it. So I'm now tuned. What am I tuned to? <laughs> I should be able to find out, shouldn't I? Avitas. So I better go and find out what I can do now. I've got special properties when you're attuned. So I get perks. And this is, uh, I saw it's the green thumb one. It's the growing one, isn't it? Increased fertility and passive mending. Oh, actually, it's not such a bad one, this, is it? And you right click this one and you, you've got your perk. I think it started then. Let's go back to the perks again. Oh, what do I have to do? Unlock with level zero available. I just left click it and you've got un I've so I've unlocked green thumb. Well, actually that means I'm going to be able to produce more and more uh, food which is actually not too bad. But I really wanted to sit you because we've got so many mobs in this pack and I'm going to go and do it. Twilight Forest is definitely next time, so it's going down. I still don't understand. 
how this is working. Let's just quickly look at that one again. Constellations Mara bright when it's this one. Yeah, that makes sense. The other one. Let's look at this again. Constellations we discovered was Avitas here, which is also which is also bright on this one. Okay, so that makes sense then, doesn't it? So well, well that's a <clears throat> not what I'd want to do, but it's a wait. Let's go back to the overall. Nope, let's not. Let's go down to the thing here. Oh, I've been a long time. I do apologise. I'm just going to check what I've actually done because it's time to go. I've done 50 minutes. Oops, try again. As you can see, you're getting quite a lot of stuff. Different types of leaves, minus leaves, pear leaves. Interesting, we actually can get different types of woods and the mushroom. East strap blocks. So basically, you're getting a lot of different types of wood in this one, and I suspect you're going to get a lot more as well. So, anyway, um, hopefully, I don't fill up the storage crate, otherwise, I'm going to have to deal with it. So, the thing I haven't done. That's say goodbye what I'd want to do is some more um, well I haven't done any of it yet applied engineer energistics yet so I'm going to do that possibly in the next or the, the following episode I think I'd like to do the the or is it called the orgast next time from the twilight forest so until then bye for now